Hey guys, welcome back to a quick tutorial with me, Brad M73. Uh, in this tutorial, I want to show you guys how to install the developer version of Course Play for Farming Simulator 15. Um, in order to do that, the first thing we want to do is just open up a browser. You can use any browser, and I recommend going to google.com uh, to find the Course Play website uh, as easily as possible. Type in uh, Course Play and just hit enter. And we want to just go ahead and choose the very first link that we come to. Um, you've got two language options, German and English. Um, I am speaking English, so I'm going to choose that one, obviously. And I want to bring up the in click on installation up here just to bring up the installation instructions. Since we are going to be uh, installing the developer version, we're going to want to open up the uh, or we're going to want to read this second section here. In order to install the de developer version, the downloaded zip file needs to be unpacked. The content of the course play master folder must be packed, archived into a new zip file by the name of zzz underscore courseplay dot zip. After that, proceed as usual. Um, so basically, whoops, I can't double click here. Uh, you want to click in this little box here. You can choose, oh, no, I can't actually do that. Let's go ahead and just use our mouse to highlight this text. You could also remember it, obviously. Um, just right uh, click on it and then click on copy. Uh, the next step is to uh, click down here, just below here, on GitHub. And, <laughs> whoa, it took a second there. Um, and you can actually see, you know, it's referencing uh, version 4.0. These are all the files that we're going to need to download. Luckily, we don't have to do them individually, though you can if you want. Um, I don't recommend it. Over here on the right, though, you should see where it says uh, download zip. So what I want to do is click that. Uh, it's going to come up, and it says, do you want to open or save? I want to save it, but I want to save it to my desktop. So I'm going to click on save as, and then um, just right here on my desktop. That's just fine. Okay, so next, <clears throat> uh, next we uh, are back on the desktop. Here is the Course Play Master. And so uh, we're just going to extract the files here. And it's going to put those right on our desktop for us. Uh, the next thing we want to do is actually open up this folder. And we can't just change the name of this folder, unfortunately, we actually do have to re-archive it. So the easiest way to do that is to hit or hold down your left control button and hit A. That's going to select everything in this folder. Uh, then we can just right click, add to archive right here. Click that, archive name and parameters. Well, we don't want it to be the course play master. We want it to be that zzz underscore course play dot zip. Um, it's going to, uh, uh, you know, make sure that the zip here is selected and then we'll just click OK. And it's actually going to put the, uh, the zip file down here at the bottom. It's going to be in the same folder, uh, that, that, um, you know, everything that you just previously, previously selected is going to be in. Now you can choose to, you know, save it to your, you know, your farming sim mods folder if you want, but uh, I just did it this way. Um, next, I'm just going to cut and paste it. So I'm just going to hit cut. I'm going to go to my documents folder. Uh, we are going to, I got a bunch of things in here. Uh, look for my games uh, down here to farming sim 2015 and mods. So I'm just going to highlight mods. Then I'm going to right click and paste and bam there it is um, it's quite a bit more work it's not like you know the older versions yet where there's just a simple zip file you can download directly to your uh, your folder so you know it's gonna take a bit more work but hopefully I know you guys are smart to get it um, and this is exactly how to do it um, if you are using the Steam version the since I don't have the Steam version installed and I'm, I'm saying the Steam version of Farming Sim 15 just for clarity <clears throat> you may actually need to go into your C drive into the x86 folder but I don't think so I think um, you can just uh, I think it actually works the same way. It's just in your 
you know your documents my games folder um, if it's not let me know in the comments and I'll try to do a little bit more research on it and see but that's how it uh, that's how it works so um, hopefully this has been helpful if it did help you get the uh, uh, the course play installed into your farming sim 15 please hit the like button and please share it so other people uh, can come out of the dark and into the light as far as installing the course play version but I do I do warn you, um, this is not uh, something, you know, it is a developer version. It could ruin your game. It might ruin my game. Hopefully it won't. But um, just so you know, um, there, you know, it's not a final version. It's not an alpha. It's not even a beta version yet. And so uh, you have been warned. Um, my personal recommendation is you should probably hold off on this unless you're really, really daring. Um, but if you decide to do it, let me know what your experience is like in the comment section. And again, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, this has been the Course Play Developer Version 4.0 installation tutorial. I am Bradham73, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.